Among the many distinctions Northwestern holds, one of the most notable is the role it played in protecting those sailing the often treacherous waters of Lake Michigan. From 1877 to 1917, a student-staffed life-saving station operated on the campus, saving lives from the shipwrecks on the lake. A clear need for aid was demonstrated by the Lady Elgin disaster in 1860. The steamer, carrying over 450 people north from Chicago, was hit by a storm out of the northeast, driving it towards the Gross Point Reef. In the darkness and heavy fog, the Lady Elgin came up suddenly upon another ship. Sitting low in the water and unable to steer well, they collided. The Lady Elgin suffered a hole in its hull and began taking on water. As her captain, Jack Wilson, tried to make shore, the steamer began breaking apart. The ship's lifeboats saved only 19 people. The rest were left to fend for themselves, clinging to pieces of the wreckage. As the wreck was discovered the next morning, several students from Northwestern and nearby Garrett Biblical Institute joined in a hastily mounted rescue effort. Particularly distinguishing themselves were future university president Charles Fowler and Edward Spencer. Northwestern students saved in total the lives of 30 of the 95 passengers rescued from the Lady Elgin. Spencer reportedly swam back and forth for six hours to save 18 of the survivors. His efforts took their toll, however, leaving him semi-invalid and forcing him to withdraw from his studies. As a gift from the class of 1898, a plaque was erected honoring Spencer's efforts, and in 1909 he was awarded an honorary Bachelor of Arts degree as a member of the class of 1862. After another 1864 incident in which Garrett student Joseph Hartzell swam a rescue line out to a sinking schooner, the U.S. Navy proposed, in 1871, to provide a lifeboat station, if the school would provide head officer and students to staff the crew. From 1872 to 1880, only seniors could serve on the crew, but amidst complaints of ineffectuality, the most qualified of all classes were then chosen to serve. In 1877, a full boathouse with access to the lake, a more transportable boat, and a mortar to shoot rescue lines to boats was built on the current site of Fisk Hall at a cost of $6,000, though moved east in 1899 to make way for construction. In 1880, a professional captain was hired to lead the crew, a position first held by Lawrence Lawson, who shaped a crew that a government superintendent recommended as the best organized, drilled, and equipped on the lake. Patrolling in four-hour shifts from April to December, they were constantly ready to aid those in need of rescue. Of particular note in the station's efforts is the wreck of the Calumet, in which the life-saving crew ensured the safety of all passengers and was awarded the Gold Life-Saving Medal of Honor by Congress in 1889. An additional bill was introduced into Congress in 1908, pursuing medals for the Lady Elgin rescuers, but action was never taken on it, though even Theodore Roosevelt opined that medals ought to have been awarded. During the course of the station's activity from 1876 to 1916, the crews saved over 400 lives from accidents on Lake Michigan. In 1907, the crew came under the authority of the Coast Guard, but remained student-staffed until 1915, when they were replaced with full-time members of the Guard. After storms damaged the station in 1929, and facing the needs of new motor-powered boats, government officials chose to move the station to Wilmette Harbor, selling the Northwestern building to the university for a token $20. The building then went on to be used as a men's union, offices, and classrooms until it was demolished to make way for further construction in 1954. In total, 77 students served as surfmen under the leadership of two keepers during the 39 years of the station's operation. Though not well known today, Northwestern's life-saving station is testament to a proud moment in the school's history.